hey what's up everybody welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you're new so in today's video i'll be telling you all about my birth story with my daughter aria and she's currently right here fighting her sleep and so yeah i um, just want to go ahead and get right into the video and so um my daughter's three months old her birthday is september the 6th and my due date was actually september the 1st so she was a few days late and so my whole process and mindset along this whole way was that i wanted to do a natural water birth and you know i wanted to not have any meds i wanted to you know take all those precautions and prepare myself for a whole natural birth and so i kind of did that and i just wanted to you know patiently wait i didn't want you know to try to get induced and everything i just want her to come you know when her time was here and so basically um the morning of september 6th i started to have like a few like contractions nothing serious i was feeling like you know oh this is the start of it like you know i may be feeling this pain for a couple of days or so but basically um later on that day probably like around six seven o'clock they started to get a little bit stronger and i was like oh okay this is getting serious like you know but at the same time i was like still going through it without any problems and i was just kind of breathing through them it wasn't until about like eight nine o'clock when things got serious and basically i was just like working on breathing through the contractions the contractions were so painful it just feels like somebody getting the inside of your stomach and just going like this and squeezing your insides and who I tried to prepare myself for the pain you know but it was definitely next level and so um when I couldn't even like you know when the pain was getting out of hand I basically had my boyfriend and my mom here and they called the um, midwives and they were basically just like you know the contractions we could time them they probably were like five six minutes apart but then they started to get i got frustrated trying to time them so i just you know that went out the window and so basically the midwife was like yeah um you know i should take a shower or whatever my mom was like girl we're not taking no shower like i don't know how that's gonna help this baby's literally getting ready to come because the contractions were literally coming back to back then and so we were getting ready to leave and everything and I could barely walk to the car because I was just like walking and then I'd be in pain. And when I had a contraction, I kind of would just want to squeeze my little body together and then, you know, ball up. And so, um, made it to the car or whatever. Right when Adam hit reverse, <laughs> my water broke. So I felt everything like gush out. It was just like a whoosh, like a splash. And I was like, oh my gosh. Like, you know, um, we live probably like 15 minutes away from the birth center. So I was like, are we going to make it? Like, I was just in so much pain. I was just, you know, really like this is going to happen. And so basically we, we on our way to the birth center, but I was like, then like she was about to come. So they always said like, you know, you feel like the baby's going to come when you feel like you have the poop. And that's how I was starting to feel. But we had literally just left the house. So I'm like, I don't think I'm going to make it at all and so we probably like five minutes away from the house and i'm like i feel her head coming out her head coming out so then i was able to get my pants down and then um i just couldn't hold her in i just pushed her pushed her head out and i felt all that they call it the ring of fire actually i ain't gonna say it wasn't that bad but it was like the oh it was i can't believe her head came out and so when adam saw her head was coming out um, he just pulled over um, and like I pushed out the rest of her body and he basically caught her. So I literally only pushed twice and literally after that the pain was gone. Like I was in the back seat on all fours like you know out of breath I was crying because I was in pain and my mom was in the front seat like she had never experienced anything like this. So she was just kind of like going crazy a little bit, like panicking and stuff like that. And I was like, ooh, the pain is over, thank God. So all I heard was, meanwhile, I'm just looking out the window, glad the pain is over. And then Adam is holding her. I could hear her like talk, but I didn't, you okay? I didn't um, 
see her when she first came out. That was the only thing that I wish I would have did. Um, but I was like, you know, with circumstances and everything, it just wasn't happening. We was on the side of the highway, 10 o'clock at night, you know. So once we got her out, um, my mom sat in the back seat and held her because we were still connected. Um, and so we held her, she held her until we got to the birth center. We were already on the phone with them um, throughout the whole process and they were ready for us when we arrived. So literally got there, they had a wheelchair for me and they had the cord so Adam was able to cut the cord. Um, at least a part of my birth plan, I did want to leave the, um, I wanted to leave the placenta attached you know, for at least maybe 15, 20 minutes. And we did that on the whole ride. So it really, really just went as planned, unplanned, if that makes sense. And so um, we got to the birth center, everything. And then I was able to like see her, like I'm like, oh, this is my child. Like this is, I have a whole baby now. Like this is her. She was so light and she was so beautiful. And she's like 7.4 pounds. And I was like, wow, like I pushed this whole baby up out of me. And so, um, yeah. And so basically after that, I did tear. I had like first degree tear. So that was like the first thing I had to do. And that took like 30 minutes. And it was just uncomfortable. Like, of course I was numbed and everything, but I was just like, oof, like that pain was de something definitely serious. Um, so, yeah, at the birth center, they, it was like a great experience. Like I did not want to do a hospital birth because we were on the phone with them. They were like, go to the nearest hospital. And I'm like, we closer to the birth center than the hospital. And I definitely did not want to do the hospital for various reasons, you know. Um, but um, the birth center, we worked with a couple midwives and a couple doctors and they were very professional. Everybody was very nice and very patient. I was the only one at the time um, who had given birth at that exact moment <clears throat> at that time. So, you know, I had all their attention. I got there, they stitched me up. Um, my doula Kai, she was great. She met us there and she helped me afterwards, like with bathing and showering. And, you know, I had to um, latch Aria on to do the whole breastfeeding. So that was good. But by this time it was like 11 o'clock, I was exhausted from all the pain that I was going through. And I was just so glad that it was over. I was like, yes, like finally this is over, literally. Um, and so it was just great. Literally at the birth center, every, Aria ended up being great. I ended up being fine. And I just kind of rested a little bit and we kind of just, you know, enjoyed the moment of, you know, our new child. and. Um, we left, we checked out like five, six o'clock that morning and went home. And we were just like, you know, glad everything went good. Everything, even though it didn't go as planned, like our birth story is like unmatched. Like I still want to do a water birth for my future children. And, but as of right now, I was kind of glad, like, okay, I still did my natural birth. In the car though, didn't really expect to do that. But, um, you know, it is what it is. And I'm kind of glad it happened the way it did. And I got some questions. I put like a little Q&A on my Instagram. And um, here are some of the questions I got. Was epidural involved? Um, no, no epidural. Only mess I did have was after birth. Um, and that was because I was losing a lot of blood, but Throughout the whole birth process, I ain't having no meds. I was straight natural. Um, let's see, would I do it all again? Yeah, you know, cause listening to other women share their birth stories, I was like, let me prepare myself for the worst. You know, let me just think about the worst pain possible I could ever be in. But you know, everybody experience is different. And so yeah, I would, um, just no time soon. Like, nah, I need to. <laughs> I need a few more years. My bad, sis. <laughs> yeah, I need to, definitely need a few more years. Um, was your delivery painful? Yes. Like, I'm not going to be like, oh, it felt good or nothing. I was just glad to get it over with. Luckily, they called my birth a rapid birth. So, um, rapid labor, rapid birth. It just went so fast. Um, but, yeah, it was definitely next level. 
probably the worst pain I ever felt in my life, but you know, did have to do what I had to do. Were you scared of giving birth in the car? How did she know it was time to push? Yeah, in the car, I was just like, you know, I wasn't so scared because I was scared when I initially got pregnant because I was like afraid of giving birth. Um, but you know, I had to release all that fear. So I was just, didn't know how it was going to turn out. So I just, you know, was a little nervous and it happened. So I was just like, you know, it's here. So the time we knew to push, it was just coming, she was just coming out. Like, you know, I just couldn't hold her in no more. I literally felt the urge to just push her out. So I pushed her head out and then Adam saw it push the rest of her little body out. You can feel every single part of her body come out. But it was a great experience overall. Um, I did want to share, I encapsulated my placenta. I actually just finished it up. Um, and so it had like tons of benefits. It helped with like postpartum depression, not having any of that. Um, it helped with your milk supply and everything. So I wanted to do the best thing naturally for my child. Um, and that was one of the greatest things I could have did, a whole natural birth. So, yeah, that's really the it of my story. Um, I do plan on sharing a whole lot more of my mom life, mom videos following this now that I have a baby girl. So, um, the next one, be on the lookout, is for the newborn essentials. And then, I'm in her room now, but it ain't finished. And so, I want to do like a whole nursery tour once I get that finished. So I wanted to show you all Aria. Aria is three months. If you have, say look mamas. Look mamas. What's up? I'm trying to get her used to the camera already. But yeah, she's at this age where she is putting everything in her mouth. I guess she's starting to teeth. I don't know, but um, yeah, like when she came out, my baby was perfect. She didn't have no type of gunky little stuff on her. She had hair. She was just the lightest little baby. I'll have to put some pictures in here. But um, yeah, this is baby Arya, Arya Lise. Um, and so yeah, just wanted to add that up in there. Make sure that... that <laughs> make sure you are following us on instagram my instagram is at naturally hey and hers is are you rich with two eyes and rich i'll put it below comment below if you have any additional questions and um make sure you are subscribed to my channel so you can stay tuned for more videos all right thank you for watching bye